Hey everyone, it's Natalie from This and Nat, or you might also know me as All of This and Nat over on Instagram. I'm a wife and dog mom living in New York City. In this video today, we are gonna go through my Sunday routine. It just takes a little bit of time on Sundays and it will help you feel so much more prepared for the week. There's something about you, something about you I like. If you're like me, when it gets to be Sunday night, it just starts to feel like the Sunday scaries, right? You're kind of anxious about the upcoming week. Maybe you feel like you haven't prepared enough. Maybe you feel like you haven't relaxed enough, got enough done. Whatever it is, there's something about Sunday night that just makes me sweat <laughs> and I can't seem to relax enough to go to bed early, which is my goal is to go to bed early, to get a good night's sleep, to start out the week right. And it's just, it's such a mess. So I'm hoping today to introduce you to what I like to do on Sundays. It takes about an hour and it just helps me prepare for the week ahead. It leaves me feeling less anxious and therefore more likely to go to bed earlier, get a good night's sleep and start off my week in a great way. Speaking of a good night's sleep, <laughs> I have to show you my new pillowcase. Okay, so I have a really special pillow that I found when Kent and I went and looked for mattresses, and it's like the best pillow ever. It has a cooling, uh, like gel on the inside, but I couldn't really feel the cooling gel to be perfectly honest. And then I have been struggling with my skin. I've been struggling with my hair. All of these things, they kind of led me to look into getting a silk pillowcase, which is what I have here now. It's so creamy soft, this silk pillowcase. This is from Lily Silk, by the way. And it is so nice and soft. Okay, I probably shouldn't put my makeup face on there, um, but it feels incredible. So Lily Silk is a company that manufactures many different silk items. I'm gonna show you just a couple here right now. Um, but one of the things that I just love from them is this silk pillowcase. Silk is incredible because it's super breathable, so it's not gonna feel hot. It's very cooling, it's durable, but it also can be very affordable, especially the technology here with Lily Silk. So this is my pillow. I believe I have a queen size pillowcase um, in white. And what I really like about it is that it has this envelope closure, which helps it to stay on, especially because silk is really silky. And so it can slide off kind of easily. But I have been sleeping on this for the past um, several nights. And I have to say, I love it. Um, you guys have recommended it to me again for my skin because I'm struggling so much with acne. And it's really good. It's a really durable material and really like hypoallergenic in a way that it's not going to hold on to dust and it's not going to um, leave like anything gross <laughs> um, in in within the silk. It's also washable, which I really misunderstood that. I thought that silk, like, I feel like you see in movies, somebody gets like a drink spilled on them and they're like, this is silk. <laughs> and honestly, it does take a little bit more care than cotton, for example, but it is washable. So I'm just planning to wash this pillowcase and hang it to dry. And it's going to be super simple to dry like that. So very easy to take care of. I'm, I'm very excited about this. It also has really great benefits for your hair. Um, if you like to sleep with your hair up, I've got a solution for you, but I have recently started sleeping with my hair down. I'm trying to cut down on the greasiness of my hair. And sometimes it can feel like really matted when I wake up in the morning, but on the silk pillowcase, you can just like, your head just like slides around. It's, there's not like a lot of tension to break your hair and it's just super comfy. This is making me want to go to bed right now. Oh, and I said my pillow has a cooling gel and I couldn't feel it through my cotton pillowcase. But as soon as I put this on, I can now feel which side has the cooling. It's right here and it feels really, really nice. So I'm a hot sleeper. That's very important to me. And I've really enjoyed sleeping on this pillowcase. Sorry, Tester. This one's mine, Kent cannot have it. I'm also wearing a tank from Lily Silk today. Let me stand up real quick and show it to you. You know, I love the color white, so I had to get white. It's a beautiful V-neck silk tank top, super simple. I can definitely dress it up if I put something on top. It's V-neck in the back. I just have a really simple half camisole on because I tend to wear those under t-shirts. Like I just, 
a little bit of modesty for me, but what I really like about this tank top is that it has, um, has little snaps. Can you see? It has little snaps with a little bit of, um, thread so that you can clip it around your bra straps. So they're not going to be sliding off which I love. It also comes in a lot of gorgeous colors, but for me, I feel really, really good in white. Last thing here from Lily Silk is the scrunchie set. I got the black one, but they do have some really cute polka dot ones. And I think they had another print too, uh, more of like a tie dye I was kind of toying between. It comes with four scrunchies, um, large all the way down to this small one here. So again, just like the pillowcase, if you're looking for something great to care for your hair, Silk scrunchies, I had not used them before. And it's great because if you wear your hair up at night, you know, you don't wanna have anything that's creating too much tension. Or if you just want something to like get your hair out of the way for a second during the day, these just slide right out. And if you wear them for a while, they're not really gonna leave that dent in your hair or any kind of crease. This one is the tiny one I need to play with. I always have a hard time doing like half up styles without looking like Legolas <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. But if you have more hair, you might be able to do this because I feel like it's so cute right now to do like little half ponies like this. Actually, that's not so bad. <laughs> I did my best, but I promise it's not the, the scrunchies fault. Um, so these are the scrunchie set from Lily Silk. Again, super affordable, so great for your hair. Not gonna pull it out. Um, do we leave it? I don't know, that's not so bad. <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, the pillowcase though, that's really, that's really what I'm all about. So we're talking about how can you prepare yourself on Sunday so that you can have a nice smooth start to your week, be able to go to bed early, not wake up feeling frazzled so that you can rest your head on the silk pillowcase and fall asleep easy. So around the afternoon time on Sunday, I'm ready to kind of, you know, sit down and prepare for my week. The very first thing I do is plan. And I like to plan in a couple of different places. I've got a paper planner, we have our family command center, and I have a Google calendar for my businesses. So I usually end up sitting down at my desk and I pull up my Google calendar because that one keeps up with all of my meetings, appointments, flights, things like that. Things that are really, really concrete. And I'll take those and transfer them into my paper planner. So I like to start with everything that has a specific time first because that doesn't take a lot of thought. I already have it in my Google Calendar and those things are concrete. So I write all of those down. So whatever you have that has a specific, specific time, if you have a meeting, a play date, you have to pick your kids up from school, a doctor's appointment, write all of those things in first. And I just do this for the week ahead, one week at a time. I write all of those things in. And after I'm done with that, I do a brain dump. And a brain dump is where you just take everything out of your head and write it on paper. No thing is too small. Whatever is floating on your mind as far as a to do, as far as a to think about, anything like that. If you are like, okay, I'd love to run a marathon, write down like research half marathon. I just write down anything that comes to my head. I don't try to be organized about this. I like to use the weekend part of my planner because I'm not working on the weekends and I don't use that part. So I just use that as scratch paper and I write everything down. And after I have everything dumped onto the page and out of my head, Honestly, I start to feel better already. I feel a little bit less anxious and I start to organize those things. So I'll put them into categories like, okay, so here are all some work things. Here are some personal life things that I want to do. Here are some, I don't know, knitting things that I want to do. And I just categorize them. And then the most important thing is this is a really hard skill is to prioritize. And so I'll pick a few things that are most important for that week. And then this is what I do. I have my planner here. I actually have an entire video about this planner and how I use it and how it looks. This is the Home Edit um, Planner. Oh shoot, it has another name, Day Designer. Home Edit for Day Designer Planner. I love it, it's massive, but they also have a smaller size. But what I like about this one is you get a page per day. Anyway, I have a whole other video that goes 
in detail through this planner in depth. Um, but what I like to do after that is I will put something very important on each page. So I prioritize my week. I picked a few things to focus on and then I will take one of those and I will put them on each day, Monday through Friday. So I'm reading this book right now about productivity called Eat That Frog. You may have read it before and I have only read like a chapter of it. So I can't say that I'm like <laughs> all a big proponent on this, this book, but honestly, the first chapter has already changed things massively for me and eating the frog means that you take your biggest thinking task, your toughest task, the task that's weighing on your mind, and you get it done first thing. And you don't let all the other small things that are going on distract you until you finish that thing. This morning, I had a video I'd been putting off at a recording for a long time. And I was like, okay, that's my frog today. I have to get that done. And so I got up, I had my normal morning routine and then I started on my frog <laughs> and it took me an hour and a half. I think I ended up having to run to the store to get something, but I didn't let anything else distract me and I just got it done. And I can't even tell you how much that changes things. But we're talking about planning the week here. So take the week and all your important priorities and place one on each day. It really helps getting up in the morning, knowing exactly what you need to tackle, and then you can just get it done. Then all the other smaller tasks I kind of put throughout the week, um, that's always kind of forever changing for me. I also like to use different color pens um, to help me out with different areas of my life. I like to use purple, blue, green for my frog. That's my new one. And pink, pink, is for one of my businesses, Nitty Natty. Blue is for this and that. Purple is for all my personal stuff, workouts, meals, social things. And green is for my frog. And I love crossing off my frog for today. the day. It feels super, super good. There's one other place that I plan now. It is our family command center. I also did a whole detailed video about this command center that you can go watch. I'll make sure to link it. But I will go there and I will put all of my things that take that I'm doing at certain times and put them on that family planner. This is something that Kent and I can both refer to. It's in the entryway of our apartment, <laughs> barely can call it a hallway. It's in the entryway of our apartment on the back of the door and it's dry erase. So I erase it every week and I replan it out and I put things that have certain times on it. And then I ask Kent, what do you have going on today? And I put his stuff in. And then I say, what do we have going on? And I put our stuff in together. And all of that goes on there. And that's really one place that helps us see everything all together. And then I know if I need to move certain things that are movable around. All of the calendar planning usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes. It's the bulk of what I do every single Sunday. The next thing that I do is I plan out our meals for the week. I still hate doing this for some reason. Like it's just not fun. I don't like planning meals. Do you like planning meals? Are you with me? <laughs> I just don't enjoy it. And so I usually pick things that we make all the time and that's how I plan meals. We have it on our family command center too. So I just erase the previous weeks. I write in what we need. I'll usually look in the pantry, see if there's anything that we need to use up. That doesn't happen as often anymore since we have such a small space here. Um, but I see what we need to move, uh, use up. I also like having our calendar planned first of activities because then I know which nights I need to make sure I have leftovers for because I'm really busy. So I wanna make sure I'm not cooking on my busiest nights. Maybe I'm cooking the night before and then I have leftovers on my busiest nights or if we have an event or something and we're gonna need to eat out, I can plan ahead for that and plan our budget for that and all of those things. So calendar first, then I plan the meals and then I actually go in and go to my Amazon Fresh app and I put up a grocery order and I take it over to Kent and I say, do you wanna add anything? He adds stuff that he wants and then we put our grocery order through on Sundays every week and that is really, really nice. And I've got a grocery video too talking about how we order from Amazon Fresh, kind of what our typical haul looks like for us. Now that everything is planned, it's time to prepare for the week. And I do this by 
looking around our apartment and doing a little tidying up. I am somebody who really has like very solid daily routines and actually that is coming soon. I'm gonna be sharing my new daily cleaning routine with you all, but I still need one day of the week where I kind of do those tasks that don't happen every single day. The biggest task for me on Sunday is Sheets Sunday. Actually, somebody sent me a really funny idea that it should be called Sheet It's Sunday, which I think is really clever. <laughs> I really like that. Um, I, I thought that was hilarious. You made me laugh when you sent me that. Anyway, that's the biggest task of the week. I make my bed every single day, or I make our bed, excuse me, it's mine and toasters and my husband's, but I make the bed every single day, but on Sunday is when I actually change the sheets, wash the sheets, and all that comes with that. It takes a little bit more time than just making the bed. I also have to go around and because we have white sheets and a dog, I have to use OxyClean and spray down all the stains so that everything comes out. Um, this is kind of gross, I guess, but honestly, I'd rather see what's on there than not know that there are messes <laughs> on our bed. And we do wipe Toaster's paws every single time he comes in, but it still ends up getting stains on our white bedding, which is fine. I clean them <laughs> and they go away. So that takes a good amount of time. I also like to refresh our bedroom. I usually dust and wipe things down. And then I like to do a vacuum around the whole house. This is where I really get into like deep vacuuming. Cause sometimes throughout the week I will do a quick little vacuum here and there. I vacuum the bathroom every day, usually the kitchen every other day. But this is when I really get into our rugs because they hold a lot of dust and dog hair. So what I'll do is I'll vacuum around the whole bedroom, the whole living room, and then I will put our vacuum into like a deeper mode. There's a plus on the bottom of the vacuum and I slide the, the slider over and the brush head goes down deeper into the carpet. And then I will do a slow vacuum. And you wouldn't believe how much dust this will bring up just doing a second slow deep vacuum of all of our rugs i like to do that at least once a week and sundays is just a really good day to do it luckily we have a small apartment and so this doesn't take me very long probably about 15 minutes to do all of the vacuuming here are some things that i don't do on sunday or save for sunday or save for the weekends clothes laundry it's so stressful when you save all of the laundry, I, I think, for the weekend, especially if you have kids in school who need certain outfits washed or certain uniforms washed. I really like to have a good routine of that going every, every other day is when I usually wash clothes. The main things that get washed on Sunday are the sheets and the blankets that go on our bed. I also don't save all of the cleaning for the weekend. I really try to rest on the weekend, which is why I like to do a little bit of cleaning every single day. I clean the bathroom every single day. I keep the kitchen tidy every single day. I just try to keep everywhere tidy. And again, it's a little easier for us because we don't have kids and we have a small space. And it's really helped me to get into a daily routine, which again is coming soon. The last thing you wanna do is really position yourself to have a good Monday. Preparing for the week, of course, doesn't just mean preparing for Monday, but you know that feeling when the week doesn't start off right? It just feels like the rest of the week is never great either. So a couple things you can do to prepare for Monday morning. I liked doing this when I worked. I honestly don't do this so well anymore. I think I should start doing it again because it really makes you feel rested to go to sleep. So some things that I like to do, and this is just for Mondays, is lay out my outfit for the next day. That really helps me feel like one step is taken away in the morning, one more decision as you're getting back into the week that can really help you feel a lot better. The other thing I do this every single day still is prepare my coffee. So I'll go ahead and measure out my coffee, measure out the water. You can even set it to uh, start brewing at a certain time so that it's just done when you walk into the kitchen. That's really nice. Definitely make sure you have a good breakfast planned for Monday morning, especially because you don't want to be rushing around trying to get to work and you miss out on breakfast and then you're hangry. 
<laughs> that's never good. The last thing is even though you're really aiming for a good night's sleep on Monday night, your routine kind of gets out of whack on the weekend. And so it can be hard to fall asleep at an early time. By Tuesday, Wednesday during the week, you're probably more into your normal bedtime routine. So my biggest thing on Sundays is not to force it. Usually I end up going to bed 30 minutes to an hour later than I do during the week when I'm aiming for 10 o'clock to go to bed. On Sundays, I'm usually going to bed at 11, 1030, just because it is a little harder to get back into the routine. I find that if I try to force it too much and try to go to bed early, I actually end up staying later because I'm laying in the bed feeling anxious about not being able to get to sleep. I do like having a really solid nighttime routine where I get into bed and I read and that usually puts me to sleep in like five minutes <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I don't have too much trouble getting to sleep. I'm very blessed, but on Sundays it is a little bit harder. So go easy on yourself if it's not the perfect time to go to bed. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got some tips to help start out your week with a little less anxiety, being less frazzled, and a little more calm. Make sure to check out Lily Silk using the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Coming soon on my channel, I've got some really great deep cleaning. I've got my daily routine coming up, so you're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't give.